Hi, welcome to our video. We are third year TEFL students and we are going to talk about the interactionist and developmental perspective proposed by Piaget and Brunner. According to psychologists and psycholinguists, the interactionist developmental perspectives focus on the interplay between the innate learning ability of children and the environment in which they develop. However, interaction and the environment are considered more important when it comes to first language acquisition. In addition, another factor that influences first language acquisition is children's cognitive development. One of the pioneers of this perspective was the Swiss psychologist Jean Piaget. In 1952, he published his work which was based on observing infants and children in their play and in their interaction with objects and people. Cognitive development refers to a person's thought processes and the development of mental traits. It looks at how a person thinks, perceives, gains understanding, and together with information processing, reasoning, imagination, and memory, it is how a person interacts with the world from childhood through adulthood. This development has been measured and studied in a variety of ways over many years. Piaget realized that the understanding of certain concepts modified how children use language. For example, when kids use words such as bigger or more, they are aware of terms like size or quantity. Those two concepts are simple and children master them in their first years. However, time is a more complex and abstract term which requires a higher cognitive development in children. For that reason, in the early stages, children develop their cognitive understanding through interaction with things that can be observed or manipulated. Piaget believed that all children progress to four stages, sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, and formal operational. In Piaget's view, Cognitive development occurs in a series of four distinct stages, characterized by increasingly sophisticated and abstract levels of thought. These stages always occur in the same order, and it builds on what was learned in the previous stage. Piaget believes each stage in development occurs as a result of interaction between moderation and environment. He also believes intelligence or intelligent behavior is the ability to adapt. Then we have two examples about Piaget's period of cognitive development. Okay, period 2 to 2 years. Sensory motor. Use the senses and motor skills. Intent known by use. Object permanence learned. Period 2 to 2 to 6 years. Pre operationals. Symbolic thinking, language use, egocentric thinking, imagination, experience, grow, children is the center. Beer to 7 to 11 years, concentrate operationals, logic applies as objective, rational interpretations, conservations, numbers, ideas, classifications. Beer to 12 years to adulthood. Formal operationals, things abstractly, hypothetical ideas, broader issues. Ethics, politics, social, moral issues explored. Unlike Piaget, Bruno argued that social factors, particularly language, were important for cognitive growth. This underpinned the concept of scaffolding to help given to a child that supports learning and is similar to scaffolding around the building, where a child is shown how to do something so the child can accomplish the task individually. The scaffolding is a temporary support structure which helps the child understand new ideas, complete new tasks, motivates and encourages the child so they can achieve higher levels of development. 
In contrast to Piaget's four stages, Bruna suggested three stages. The first is the inactive mode, first 18 months, when the child's activities are predominantly motor and related to motor nerves. The iconic mode then develops where the child is guided by mental imagery, able to form own mental images and express itself on that basis. The final stage is the symbolic mode from about six or seven years onwards in which the child will express self in the form of words and will have a mental sense of time and distance. At this stage, language learning also begins. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.